So what is the best part about being an aquarium hobbyist? Psst. Getting new fish. In today's video, I'm going to bring you guys along on a recent trip that I took to the local fish store. And I'm going to share with you some of the amazing and massive fish that they're able to house at this store. And make sure you stay to the end of the video so you can see what I brought home. When you first walk into the Pets Palace in Louisville, Kentucky, you're greeted by a very unusual tank. This saltwater tank is constantly overflowing, and as the water runs down the sides of the tank, the water is collected and sent down to a sump where it's sent back up for filtration. Along with other saltwater fish, here's an incredible lionfish. Lucky for me, it was feeding time for this fish. Now I got to drop a few frozen pieces in and watch this massive lionfish completely devour its dinner. I've always been intrigued by these majestic poisonous fish and it was awesome to encounter one with such great size. I also got to throw a piece in for this awesome looking dog face puffer and watch him enjoy a good meal as well. This fish may have a peaceful demeanor as it swims swiftly through the water, but this silver arowana is one incredible beast. You don't often see too many peacock bass this size in a local fish store. They're also accompanied by some beautiful discus and some really large common plecos. I thought this was a really, really cool thing. This massive jigsaw catfish is over 30 inches long. Here you can see him digging around in the substrate for some food. And here's another shot, just so I could show you how big this tank is. And also show you a couple other jigsaw cats that aren't quite as big, but they'll get there. In the tank right below the jigsaw catfish, they had some really nice and large looking koi. Whenever I go to build my pond in the spring, I'm definitely going to come back here and see what kind of selection they have. For my love and recent want for a turtle tank, I definitely had to show this one off. This is a really large tank, so these turtles have plenty of room for swimming and basking. These fish aren't large, but I love how they went above and beyond on this bed of rack. It runs on a continuous drip system, so the water is always moving and constantly getting filtered. So before I show you what I brought home, go ahead and let me know down in the comments section what your favorite fish was from the Pets Palace local fish store tour. And if you enjoy this type of content, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and ding that notification bell. That way you don't miss any more uploads going forward. Now let's see what the new additions are to Otter Creek Aquatics. First for the plants, I was able to pick up a huge portion of Crip, some Ludwigia Repens, and also some Money Wart. All of these plants came in really, really good condition, and I'm happy with the amount of money that I paid for each portion. From the portion of the Crip that I just showed you, I was able to split it up into 26 different plants. I was so satisfied with this portion that I ended up going back and getting two more. I'm not sure exactly which crypt this is. It was just sold to me as a cryptocorn from the store. So if any of you have any ideas, please let me know down in the comments. But as you can see, I was able to take those three portions and split them up pretty heavily into every single one of my tanks. The Ludwigia Repens came in a bundle of six stems. I was highly satisfied with the quality and the quantity of this plant, so when I went back to get more of the Crip, I ended up picking up two more portions of this plant as well. I didn't split this plant up as much as I did the Crip because I wanted to keep it in a larger group, but I'm curious to see how this plant's going to do in these tanks. The Moneywort species is a part of the Bacopa family. 
I only stuck with a single portion that I showed earlier, so I didn't get to split it up in as many tanks. But I think this plant is really going to thrive in these tanks. For the livestock side, I was sold these as a Corridor Swartzies. After doing further research, I know that they're not the Swartzies, and I'm still trying to figure out which ones they are. If any of you have ever kept these Corridors, please let me know down in the comments below. And once I figure out which ones they are, I will update the description. Here are a few more clips after the Corridors were in the tank for a couple days. This allowed them to get comfortably settled in and colored up nicely. The colors and patterns on this fish are absolutely stunning. What another amazing type added to the Otter Creek Aquatics Corridors collection. Thank you all for coming along on this journey with me. If you like this type of video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. That way I can make more videos like this for you guys. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ding that notification bell. That way you don't miss any more uploads going forward. Don't forget to let me know what you guys think of these new plants and these beautiful new corridors down in the comments below. And I will see you in that next video. See you.